pretty special stuff from Steph. Now, let me pull the curtain back on my next guest because the last time I talked to him on the phone in real life, he said something along the lines of, why haven't you had me on in so long? I'm like your best guest. I love it. It's the winningest coach in Canadian college basketball history, maybe any sport, I think. Dave Smart, am I getting this conversation anywhere near right? Well, I feel like you're misinterpreting it. <laughs> okay. I feel I, I, I certainly did say that, but it wasn't that I was a good guest. It's just that your friends aren't very good guests. <laughs> 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 I, I didn't want. I don't want people to think I was being arrogant about it. I was more taking a yeah. shot at, at I mean, everyone else. Name names, but I, I'd rather not. <laughs> and I, I, everyone else. <laughs> uh, I keep hearing the American hot take artists talk about Steph Curry's top ten player of all time candidacy being on the line as if it is in these finals. Your honest reaction when you hear people say that his top 10 all-time is on the line in these finals? Well, I mean, I think it's tough to argue top 10, who's top 10, who isn't top 10, because it's different eras and there's great players. I mean, the thing with Steph is, you know, the impact he's had on the game, and, and some people say good, some people say bad. I, I, I think if you're around good coaches, what he's done for the game is – is incredible. If you're around bad coaches, what, what he does to the game is terrible. Because if he's if if young kids aren't around good mentors, then they all go out and think they can take those shots and, right. and shoot the threes that he shoots, and and that that that's the way the game should be played, and the game becomes ugly. But if young kids are around good mentors and it's explained to them well how he got to this level and what he's done and the work he's put in. And I mean, the time and effort and, and the way he shoots, I mean, it's just, it's the same every time he, he his release points, his balance point, you know, it, it's, it's special. I mean, it, it really is, but that's, that's because he's probably worked, you know, it, it would you, you'd have to say to be who he is with his body, he would have had to work in the top three of anyone in the game ever. So if if you can get young kids to understand that's where you can get to if you're going to be a top three worker all time in the history of the game and the history of the world, well, that's a great thing. But if if <laughs> if you're just going to let kids go, well, that's the way Steph plays. That's the way uh, the the Warriors play. You you can shoot a ton of threes. Well, it ruins the game. So it's I kind of see both sides of it. I mean, I, now that I've stopped officially coaching i've become basically switzerland I, and i sit on the fence on everything but <laughs> but 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 really i mean he he is one of the greatest things that's ever happened in the game and in some cases if but he's if, the he's the greatest shooter. Good leadership one of the worst but he's the greatest shooter that the game has ever seen and you don't even have to spend much time looking at numbers do you it's hard to debate that really hard to debate yeah. Okay. You're saying. Yeah. I thought you were saying it's hard to debate. No, like, no. I don't I'm know if he hard, is. Yeah. Hard to debate that. Yes. I'd, lo I'd love the 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 other other person. Yeah, there isn't another person. That's <laughs> so. If Malcolm Gladwell, the smart guy, said like ten thousand hours or whatever it is, like honestly, can you guesstimate what the hours would be to get to shoot like Steph Curry? It would be crazy for you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not necessarily for me. Not necessarily for me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. A lot, a lot more, a lot more for you. Yeah, I'm not saying me. I'm saying and someone who came to Dave Smart are, as a freshman. Most, most who are watching this show, a lot more, a lot, <laughs> a lot more. All and right, I'm so, sure he's done a lot more. Okay, so if I gave you a list of the top ten, which is basically consensus, would you tell me if you think anyone should be moved out, or do you think that's a ridiculous apples to oranges kind of thing? No, I mean, I think it's, I think it's tough to. To say, but if you gave me if you gave me the list, I'd, I'd probably tell you who I who okay. I would bump. For. I'm giving you the list then. Jordan, LeBron, Kareem is basically everyone's top three, four with Magic. Um, then you can go in a bunch of different ways, but it's pretty much consensus on the rest of them. I'll just read them off: as Kobe, Shaq, Bird, Wilt, Bill Russell, and his 11 titles, and Tim Duncan is is most people's consensus top ten. Would you move any of them out for Steph Curry? It's it's tough, as I said before. I mean, the, my, probably my three 
favorite to uh, I mean Jordan was great to watch but watching Shaq watching Tim Duncan who loved the way he played and Larry Bird obviously I love it, you like, would love those, Duncan the the those guys those two guys Duncan and Bird are, for me are are two of my favorites to watch um, and Shaq just because he was so dominant but I would say you could debatably move one of those three out and Curry in I mean I I, I think I think it's would I. Probably, I don't know which one it would be. It would be a bit of a coin flip, but uh, but uh, I think that that's the debate. I think the others, it's tough to move them out. I mean, Will Will was ridiculous. Okay, the the hot button topic is yeah, the numbers that Will put up are just like I don't even yeah. know if it's the same thing, but whatever. The the eleven on most people's list is Kevin Durant. <laughs> no, no. Who who's better, Kevin Durant or Steph Curry? I, I think I, I I think Kevin Durant's great great player, and I think he may maybe he move he. He plants some of the someone on that list, or two moves ahead a couple of people on that list. But right now, you 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 can't you can't put him ahead of uh, anyone on that list. And and right this moment, how do you put him ahead of Steph? I mean, it's it, he's great and he's right there. But but he didn't he, win a title without I, Steph. He did not like that's. I, I keep exactly. hearing people not, say not that. Not only not, but but you know they they got swept. They got swept with some pretty good players and and. And he's he's had some struggles. He he's been great, and he's he's certainly right there. But I, I don't see how you, I, I don't see how he's not sort of twelve, maybe moving into the ten in in three, four, five years if he continues to play at this level and and wins a couple right. without without stuff. So Steph's averaging like thirty five in the finals against a really good defense. And uh, a dude, as a dude, that made his name on coaching defense. How good are the Celtics actually defensively? I mean, again, do you want me to answer what I'm supposed to answer so I don't get? Let <laughs> oh, like, me give I, us I, both I, answers: the I mean, the what you're supposed to do on national TV and the real Dave Smart answer. Well, compared to everybody <laughs> else, they play great D. Then right. Golden State play great D. But but I mean, if you watch, it, it, like this is the NBA Finals, and these two teams do it better than anybody, but. I mean, a regular season game, 50% of the possessions are thrown away possessions, like either offensively or defensively. It's hard to watch. I mean, from a from a real coaching perspective, and I'm not blaming anyone. I'm not. I'm not there, so I can't. I'm not blaming the players, and I'm not blaming the coaches. But someone's at fault that they keep throwing away 50% of the possessions in regular season. But even if you watch closely. I mean, I don't want to put a percentage on it, but there's a lot of possessions thrown away, both offensively, but especially defensively, where, you know, like it's just, there doesn't seem to be, I, I mean, I know there is a consistent plan, but but like some of the switch situations and some of the situations where, where Steph gets open or doesn't get ganged up on when there's certain guys on the floor, and more importantly, certain guys on the floor in places they can't shoot it from. I mean, right. Golden State's tough. They, they run some good stuff and the, you know Draymond's tough because if you if you don't cover him at all and you, you let him just pass it then then he's going to pick you apart with the pass and they slip the they slip those those pin downs well you know you you, you don't want to let Steph flare although if 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 you do and you can get there on the catch and put it down if there's certain guys who just don't they just don't shoot it consistently and and I, I find it funny that he gets the shots he gets and they they get lost, but also that some of the other guys who can shoot it get the shots they get. I because there's guys on the floor who, who don't shoot it that well, and and as much as they space pretty well, yeah. there are a lot. Of, like I've broken it down pretty pretty seriously. There's a lot of times when bad shooters. I, I just don't think they're covering the nons as well as they could cover the nons personally. I mean, that, maybe I shouldn't say that, but that's that's my no. Matt Bonner my, came on here and basically said like he worked with Udoka in. Uh, San Antonio and said the Celtics are going to win this because he's going to force the non-shooters to shoot and in game one we saw that but they, they haven't been able to kind of follow that up now Golden State's hard to do that against right because they have some I, shooters I, I just think it, they, they haven't done that on a consistent basis and they and and the problem with guys like like Steph and 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 definitely Clay and even Poole I mean he's young but if those guys get hot like, like yeah, if you give them the a good look and they and they get get a little bit of a flow, they they move it back three feet, they 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 shoot it quicker, and you know maybe they don't do it for the entire game like Steph, but but they get hot for for three four minutes, and all of a sudden the game's changed, and now now you're fighting uphill and you can't win that way. So it, it's tough because they they have a couple of streaky guys, 
who are great shooters but are more streaky than than Steph is. And I just find they're not covering the nons. And and some of the nons are decent shooters, but I just I'd, I'd rather see I them have to talk. It's like I got you. Playing unbelievable, and he and he's been a huge factor. But if he's shooting threes, then he's not offensive rebounding. When someone else is shooting the three, he's offensive rebounding. Like when they when they hurt them on the offensive boards, that's when they when they really hurt them. And Andrew's killing them in a lot of ways. And you know, would I do I think Andrew can shoot it? Yeah, I definitely think he can shoot it. But I'd rather him shoot it because, like there, he is not offensive rebounding. And there's really only one guy who is kind of offensive rebounding. Like look here. There is nobody looking to rebound right. if if Andrew shoot. And I, I mean he he's playing great and he's doing a great job on the defensive end. And and he's probably the reason they're up there it's two two is because he's been their second best player. All right. But it's not so much that he can't shoot, it's more that he does so many other things well right. that hurt the cell. I, I he be, and and he's not the top of the list. There's four other guys who I'd let shoot it long before I let him shoot. Okay, we only got about a minute and a half here, but I wanted to get to Draymond Green, who uh, Charlie Murphy once coined the phrase habitual line stepper. And I feel like Draymond Green is a habitual line stepper. But would you would you appreciate a Draymond Green on your team? Because there seems to be this referendum on Draymond Green going on right now. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, there's things I like about him, things I don't like about him. I mean, it, it's it's one of those things where I'm not a, I'm not a big look at me guy. But for, for, for him, they don't have a lot of look at me guys on their team who want to be look at me guys. So he right. takes a lot of the attention away from guys who really don't want the attention. So that's not a bad thing. I think he's right. a perfect for that team. Do I, do I like that it, the attention's always got to be on him? No, but if, if it's a fit on that team and there's a purpose to it, if there's a method to the madness, then, then it's, it's fine. I mean, is he playing great? No, he's, he's, He's he's not playing terribly. He still he still passes the ball well. He still rebounds. He still still creates havoc and defends. I mean he's got to he's got to put the ball in the, in the basket a little bit, um, just just to allow himself to be a little bit of better passer. But uh, I don't know if if he was on a team with a ton of look at me guys, I think he'd just be another distraction that killed the team. On this team, those guys don't get distracted by it, and I think they appreciate the attention getting taken off him. Got you. How many more hours would it take you to get to Steph Curry? To get to Steph Curry? Yeah, you, you were saying it would take me a lot more hours. Like for you, like I know you scored a little bit at some less, school down, less, down less the 401. Less, less, <laughs> less, less, less than me. Less than me, yeah. Less. <laughs> a lot of people yeah. can say that. A lot so, of people. So you said before we got on that you dressed up for today's show. Okay. All right. <laughs> awesome. All right, buddy. I appreciate you All nonetheless. Right. <laughs> I it wasn't as tense as the last time. I, no, it no, fun. it was a lot more lighthearted. Yeah. 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 You didn't make it so uptight like you did the last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd ask you to stick around, but frankly, never mind. All right. Good to see you, buddy. All right. Take care. There, is, for there is Dave Smart, uh, head coach at Carlton. He won like 145 championships. Lived up.